planet Nibiru or planet X or planet 9 or Wormwood is approaching the Earth, according to claims. Many predictions of significant changes on Earth are associated with the advent of planet Nibiru. For some prophets, it's called the planet of death, which threatens life in our cosmic home. Virtually all significant astronomers deny the existence of Nibiru, but this does not stop the predictions of the end of the world, quote-unquote. Cancel your long-term plans or forget everything that you're prepared to do for the future. Get ready for the end of the world survival in a world of chaos and struggle for life. This advice is given by prophets who assure, assure life will end with a biblical prediction when the planet of death, Nibiru, appears in our solar system. The days of the mass departure of mankind to a different dimension is concluded in the deadly day, date of the global catastrophe. The date of truth would be uh, soon. Now, according to the curious theory, the moon, the sun, Jupiter are going to align in Virgo, causing the beginning of a biblical rapture, the second coming of Christ. Please know that much uh, all this will happen at night because it will be the last in history of human civilization as we know it. According to these prophecies, mistaken in each previous prediction, the closer doomsday of mankind is when everyone appears before the foot of the, uh, the judge. Now, honestly, the event cannot be called an instant collapse of life and the fall of civilization. We're invited to watch the exaltation of the Antichrist, the beginning of the Third World War, the next seven years of the Great Tribulation, and, of course, the appearance of the planet Nibiru. Actually, since the advent of the planet Nibiru, the prophets have declared the revelation of the apocalypse. Space agents and researchers say again, the planet does not exist. And if you do not believe in official statements, that is, exceptional evidence of the failure of the predictions of the end of the world, you read it, then you are still alive. But according to many predictions, we should have perished long ago from this in fire and chaos. The famous prophet David Mead, who previously repeated, predicted the end, repeatedly predicted the end of the world and the death of the planet, said, by the beginning of April 2018, the church will fall, and in 2019, this will be followed by the triumph of the Antichrist and the advent of Planet X, Nibiru, the beginning of the Third World War, and other tribulations. When will Nibiru fly to Earth? In the past, it was predicted many times that a giant red dwarf or death planet would hit the Earth in September 2017. The same was said that in December 2016 and again in April 2018. You can see that every year they change their dates. Even earlier, the end of the world was predicted December 2015. So this shows the pattern and general pattern for these prophets. The terrible panic was in 2012 where the prophets were choked with words of predictions about the arrival of planet Nibiru, pointing to the completion of the Mayan calendar, predicted the great apocalypse of December 12, 12, 12. Long before these predictions, an American writer came up with the assertion that he had someone else's implant in his brain and knew exactly the date of the end of the world. That would have been that it would have been 2003, 20 years ago. Meanwhile, Nibiru has never been seen in the vicinity of the solar system. No credible scientist has confirmed the existence of this wandering heavenly ghost. Space researchers have repeatedly denied the myth of this killer planet. Stories of wayward ghost planets are a hoax, and such statements have no factual basis. If Nibiru Planet X exists in reality and came to a meeting with our Earth, then astronomers would follow it, at least in the last decade, and today this could have been observed with the naked eye. Given all the above, we conclude that at the end of, uh, by the, at that time, 2019, the beginning of uh, the next uh, decade, although the course which predictions significantly increased the number of sales of family rescue capsules, now American writer Zachariah Sitchin first noted, wrote about Nibiru, in his 1976 hit book, The Twelfth Planet, in a graceful alternative history, he settled on it a race of ancient aliens, the Anunnaki, who created humanity. And interestingly, in mythology, 
The Anunnaki often visited the uh, Aborigines of Earth and always brought technological gifts, quote-unquote, although indeed climate change has occurred on our planet. However, Sitchin himself, if he had expected the arrival of planet Nibiru, would be no sooner than after a, a thousand years, which is extremely unsatisfying for modern predictors. In the past, according to the, the myths, the legends, Nibiru collided with the planet Tiamat, which was located between Mars and Jupiter, and the result was the formation of the asteroid belt. Nibiru itself, populated by the race of the Anunnaki, an advanced humanoid civilization who once arrived on Earth in order to mine African gold, monatomic gold. As a result of laborious mining operations, they used their own genes to create Homo sapiens. It was an interesting experiment from aliens, but it also showed that the end of the world did not come with the advent of Nibiru. This is on Solask. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box.